Hello, 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 everybody. A quick parcel unboxing. So this is from Enden Opals, 53 Frogs. I won this on Opal Auctions. Right, so we've lowered the camera just to have a closer look at some of these. Um, I haven't done anything. I've literally just poured it straight out of this bag into here. And I can already see there's some really interesting pieces, like this one in particular. So look at that, that's got a few colours coming through. If that potch there can clear up, that can be an amazing piece. And I've seen people on Facebook share some remarkable stones coming from the Grade 7. Pretty low grade, so it's fairly cheap. But it's not really for beginners because the stones that are typically in it are incredibly challenging to cut. Uneven colour bars or here where you've got potch infiltrating that front surface. That one I'm very interested in though and I reckon that will make a great video if it gets anywhere. So I'll set him aside. At the end of the video we'll go through and pick out of four as per usual. There we go. I'll have a little grid there. And I'll let you guys vote because it's better that you guys are interested in the stones that I cut than I am. So there's a couple pieces here that don't look like much but then you have a better look at them. You can see here, this one might have a little bit of something underneath it. So, is it a shell? It might be a bit of a shell. It's got a little bit of crystal in it. That's got some color to it, so that's pretty cool. But it's a very small piece. It is that color on sitting on some black, so that could actually come up really well. Oh, so this one's got some really nice color but it's gonna be very thin in terms of its color bar there. Really thin. I wonder how far across the stone it travels. Yeah, it might travel all the way, who knows? Oh, here we go. So that's, that's one that's showing some potential. Look at that. So that's got a fair bit of colour on it, but there's a big concave in the middle there. That's going to be tough. I might have to attack it from the front here and take off that crust to find out. I reckon we'll set that one aside as well. This one's got some nice colour to it. But who knows what's going to be underneath that. Could be real good, could be real bad. Got some more. Oh yeah, another thin piece with... Fair bit of colour along one edge, but I can't see how deep that goes. I can see it coming through there, that's pretty cool. This one here, I can see a little bit of red coming through. Whenever you see red, you're a little bit excited. Uh, that could actually be a bit of a shell as well. So, complete unknown that one. A bit of crystal with some black inclusion. Oh, that could be vibrant. Oh, it's a tricky stone. We'll set him down. Nice little crystal, but could have too many inclusions in it to be a gem. Oh, that one's pretty shot with inclusions. They look pretty deep too. That's going to be a tough piece. A couple lines of crystal colour going through that one. Not overly exciting. Oh, if I can get this one clean, that'll be nice. Oh. Same with this one. I think a few of these pieces, it's just about getting some of that sand out, reshaping it. If I can keep that darker potch behind that color, that could actually come out to be a really nice stone. I'll set him over beside. Oh, here's a little pea knobby with a nice thick piece of crystal going through the guts. See, there's the white cap, the darker potch. Come down from the front, that could be fun. Haven't done many pea knobbies. Oh, that could be that could be a good piece if you can clean up. It's going to be hard to pick a top four to actually let you guys vote on. That one's going to be a pretty complicated one too. There's a fair bit of colour just under that white, but it's really uneven. Can borrow a crystal. That might make a doublet if I can get that. The inclusions out of it. Same with this one. This could be a doublet as well. It's got a little bit of purple colour to it, but overall it's a fairly colourless an inclusion free potch and similar with this one another potential doublet if I can clear out this this garbage on the side here option one that pea knobby dark side white cap small bit of crystal 
you can be number one. This one, the one that I was initially excited about, if, we, if that clears up, that's going to be a gem and a half under there. Fairly thin colour bar, it's going to be... Oh, it's going to be nervous cutting that one. But that could be a hell of a piece. Just have to see if it clears up, otherwise we might be getting a bit inventive with that surface and it won't be flat. So that's number two. I mean, it's got some interesting colours. That can be number three. I guess we could also still look at this one here. P knobby with the top taken off it already. If that cleans up, that could be really nice. I think we'll go with this P knobby. It's already had its top taken off, but it should still be fun. So there we go. One, two, three, four. P knobby fully capped. P knobby rubbed. That one that's got the surface inclusions, and this one here, which is just a big unknown mystery one, but it's got orange and green in it. So they're going to be the choices. Take a take a vote below, and that'll probably be next week's cutting. I want to work on a piece of boulder at the moment. And I've got a few things that I'm testing out in the lab, and if those results come back interesting, then I'll also bring those. And I might even have a Halloween special, a little bit of Dremel art, so that'll be the next video, I think.